Hi everybody, thank you so much for joining me today. As you can see, I'm getting ready to do some celebrating here at my house. Um, I set up a tree and we put decorations on it and we've hung some stockings here by the fire. Or maybe I should be on a wire. Stockings by the fire. But you know, really, there's so many holidays that people celebrate all over the world. It's not just Christmas and not just in December, right? There's always a time when we get together with our loved ones and we share important memories that we'll take with us our whole lives. I bet your parents have some great stories. You just have to ask them and they'll share. Well, I thought today one of the Things that we could explore, one of the holidays we could explore is Diwali. Now, Diwali already passed. It happened in November, but it's always fun to learn about people and learn about the different ways that they come together as a community and celebrate. So let's learn together about Diwali, shall we? Hey, you made it. Cool. All right, so let's read this book. It's called Diwali. Festivals around the world. Look at these two. They look ready for a celebration. <laughs> okay, so one of the reasons why I picked this book is that it has this very helpful young lady here. She says, hello, my name is Prita. When you see Prita, she will tell you how to say a word, which is very helpful. What is a festival? A festival takes place when people come together to celebrate a special event or time of the year. Some festivals last for only one day and others can go on for many months. Some people celebrate festivals by having a party with their family and friends. Others celebrate by holding special events, performing dances or playing music. How do you celebrate in your family? What is Hinduism? Hinduism is a religion that began in India over 4,000 years ago. Hindus believe in many gods and goddesses. Many gods made up the supreme god, Brahman. And this here is Ganesh one of the Hindu gods. Hindus pray to their different gods and goddesses in a temple called a mandir. Before they enter a mandir, each person must wash so they are clean and remove their shoes as a sign of respect for God. Can you see how colorful this is? Isn't that wonderful? What is Diwali? Diwali is a festival that is celebrated by Hindus every year in October or November. And this right here is a Hindu temple in Madurai, India. Diwali celebrations can last for five days. You see that temple there? It's also really colorful, isn't it? I wonder how tall it is. Look, can you see that up there at the top? Who do you think that is? Hindus come together to celebrate. They celebrate by decorating their homes with many lights, exchanging gifts and setting off fireworks. The word for Dwali means row of lights. Do you know who that is there? Hmm. And here is the story of Diwali. A long time ago in India, there once was a prince called Rama who was married to a beautiful princess, Sita. Rama had an evil stepmother who wanted her son to become king instead of Rama. They sent Rama and Sita away to live in the forest. Ravana, the demon king, 
had heard of Sita's great beauty. One day he came to the forest and took her far away to his island. Rama was sad and did not know what to do. He asked the king of the monkeys, Sugriva, for help, who turned to his trusted advisor, Hanuman, for help. Rama and Hanuman went to Ravana's island to find Sita. They found Ravana and killed him. Rama and Sita were together once more. Rama and Sita tried to find their way home, but it was too dark. To help them, the people of the kingdom lit oil lamps so they could see. Rama and Sita finally came home and took their rightful place as king and queen. And now we have the Festival of Lights. At the beginning of Diwali, Hindus light small oil lamps to remember the story of Rama's faith and good winning over evil. And here it says the small candles lit at Diwali are called Diyas. In the evening, big firework displays are held and people light sparklers and lamps to celebrate Diwali. The fireworks are thought to keep evil spirits away. In the evenings, many people hold a small prayer meeting called a puja. They pray to the god Ganesh and the goddess Lakshmi. And I always used to say Lakshmi, but now I know because Prita helped me that it's, it's Lakshmi. Ganesh is the god of wisdom and good luck, and Lakshmi is the goddess of wealth and good fortune. Hindus also go to the mandir to worship Ganesh and Lakshmi. They give offerings of fruit and traditional Indian candy to bring them good luck in the new year. A Hindu temple in India. I like holidays that have candy. Rangoli decorations. People decorate the doorsteps of their houses and the ground outside the temples with brightly colored patterns. These are called Rangoli patterns. They make them with a mixture of rice flour, water, and colored powder. Hindus hope the goddess Lakshmi will visit their houses when she sees the beautiful patterns. They believe she will bring them wealth and good luck in the new year. And here she is. And what do you think all these things she's holding are? I wonder what they mean. Festive food. On the fourth day of Diwali, brothers visit their sisters for a special meal. Traditional festival foods, especially candy, are eaten at this time of year. And it says Indian candies are called mithai. Look at those. I wonder what's inside of them. Do you think they're hard or do you think they're soft and chewy? I think this one, I'm not sure. Maybe it has pistachios. I'm guessing, I'm not sure. I think that might be a pistachio. Coconut barfi are special, especially popular during Diwali. They are small candies made from coconut, milk, and sugar. Music and dancing. People fill the streets with lively dancing to celebrate Diwali together as a community. A traditional stick dance called the Dandiya Raz is performed during Navarti. Navartri, excuse me, a festival that leads up to Diwali. Traditional instruments like the Dalak are played when performers are dancing. A dalak is a traditional hand drum. People also blow whistles and sing during the festival. Oh, oops, it's a dulak. That was it. That was our book on Diwali.
thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed reading the book about Diwali with me. Um, I do have other books, but I know I can't eat up all of your time. You guys have so many other wonderful things to get to. Um, but this book is one of the ones that you can check out from the library. Sorry about the glare there. Um, but yeah, it's got a lot of wonderful information. It's got some different pictures in it that you can see. Um, you can learn about how people from other religions, including the Jain and um, Sikh religion, also participate in Diwali. Um, and I just wanted to remind you guys that uh, there are so many ways that you can learn about other cultures, other celebrations, um, and the best way is by going directly to the people who celebrate them. So this year was such a different year for all of us, but um, there are celebrations marking Diwali. So as we come around again to October and November, then I hope you guys have a chance to go out there and um, participate in festivals or learn more uh, from the people who, who do celebrate uh, Diwali. So thank you so much, you guys, for your time, and I look forward to seeing you in the library again soon. Thank you. Bye.